for the first few days, my energy was just so low. I couldn't even get out of bed. 19-year-old Maria Esparza says she tested positive for COVID-19 last month. She says at first she thought the body aches were from a bike ride and that nausea may have been from a stomach bug, but the exhaustion didn't let up. I talked for like five minutes and I just knocked out and slept for hours and it was just not normal for me. Battling nausea, vomiting, coughing and headaches. It felt like my walk from my bed to the restroom was just really bad. She says after several days without any relief, she decided to go to the hospital. She thinks she may have gotten the virus at the gym or when she went shopping, even saying getting the virus wasn't unexpected. I'm one of those people that um, was really kind of paranoid. I was taking major precautions even at the gym, like I had my mask, I had my hand sanitizer. I was very precautious and fortunately I was still... I still got it. After about a two week battle, she finally tested negative for the virus. Even though she's now recovered, she says she's still feeling the effects. To this day, I still feel short of breath when I talk too much or do uh, a lot of physical activity. And she wants to remind everyone to take it seriously, no matter what their age. Even myself, when I caught it, I was like, okay, I'm young, I'm going to be fine. This is probably the worst it'll get. And it actually got worse while I was like progressing into the illness. And to trust your gut, to isolate and get tested if you think something feels off, she credits that for keeping an at-risk family member from getting sick. So you never know who you might spread it to that can actually die from it. Angela Shen, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Angela, well, Esparza says she does have concerns about returning to campus for school.